Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 8th of August where I look at just one of the potential signals from our stock scanner membership area. Our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets every single day for potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame. Also stochastic longs and stochastic shorts have been added now. Today we look at uh, shorts. Um, we could get a little turn today in the markets and we just got to be ready for those. I'm going to look at a shorter time frame, a 60 minute potential short. So in the members area of potential shorts for today, for the 8th of August, our members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet looks something like this for today. As you can see, there's quite a lot of potential trades there on the 60 minute for potential shorts, short fifth wave trades on the 60 minute. I've chosen just one of those. So we're going to go through now, set that up on a chart. So I've chosen WINN, a win resorts on the 60 minute for a short potential short fifth wave trade. First of all, this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the NinjaTrader NT8 platform. It's also available for TradeStation, MultiCharts and Think or Swim. For those members that have our indicator suite, this is quite a simple setup really. You need to isolate the wave count at these highs here just before the big move down. You can see it's very range bound intraday here. We get a slightly new high and then we move down. So we isolate from the highs here and our indicator suite automatically labels the Elliott wave one, two, three, and then we've had the wave four pullback. It's the wave four pullback that we are really interested in right now. It's the behavior of this wave fallback which forms the basis and the initial data filters for our stocks scanner signals. So the first filter is that we've had a wave four pullback against the main uh, shorter term trend here and the four, wave force found resistance at the top end of our amber zone. This amber pullback zone, the probability zones, gives us an 80% probability it will go on and make that new wave 5 low around about $144 into our automated target zone down here in blue. The next filter is the 535 oscillator. This needs to pull back between 90 and 140. If I just zoom in there, you'll be able to see that's where we've pulled back right now. So the wave 4 pullback has behaved very well with the 535. And then in another part of our indicator suite is our false breakout stochastic here. The yellow dots at the bottom can uh, denote a really strong bearish move. The stochastic's pulled back against that on the wave 4. It's crossed over and the likelihood is it wants to return to that uh, strong bearish move on the fifth wave. So setting this up, reasonably simple. I'm going to go quite conservative today. The stop loss is above the wave 4. So around about 154.54, something like that. The entry for me, it's got to be below the 6.4 moving average low, which is... Uh, part of our entry strategy on the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, the red moving average here. But also I want to make sure I'm below this pivot uh, and just give it a bit more room. Because if we have a positive day today, I don't want to dip down, get taken in and then get taken out again. So I want to be below the whole $151 mark, uh, below the 6.4 moving average low and below these pivots here. So 150.87 is the entry short for Win Resorts which still gives us a risk to reward of one to two into the target zone here and the targets around about $144. So great risk to reward whilst remaining conservative. If the markets do turn down, this could be the catalyst for this fifth wave to really get some momentum going and win results in today getting back to that bearish momentum. <clears throat> so that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.